Hey guys, welcome back to another Vinland Saga reaction video. Today we are going to be doing... Okay. We are going to be watching episode 4. Uh, last episode was really good, really intense. I feel like this season's probably just going to be a very emotionally intense season. Um, I'm really enjoying watching Einar and his relationship with Thorfinn and also the girl I'll put her name in. Um, I'm enjoying watching that. Uh, it's very intriguing, but also heartbreaking to watch Thorfinn's uh, sort of like, I'm gonna say depression and PTSD. And you can watch my last video to see what I mean about that. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. If you're liking these, please consider liking and subscribing. From last episode, and he just doesn't even react, which is sad and impressive at the same time. I think he's just like in his mind right now, he's just ready to go. Yeah. Oh, his name is Snake. That's why the last episode was called Snake. I miss that. He should be nervous. <laughs> there is no explanation. <laughs> the explanation is we were jerks. Exactly. Well, that's not exactly more ideal. <laughs> he like literally doesn't say anything. <laughs> well, at least he still has some humanity left. Kind of like his dad. I think he still sees them as people even if it's messed up and they shouldn't participate in the system oh oh Interesting. That kind of gave him motivation for life again. Ironic, but cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Even if your mind doesn't. He's a very, like, kind of morally neutral guy, I'd say, which is probably why Thorfinn was reminded of Askeladd. Well, good. I'm glad he's starting to get... Getting those thoughts is the first step of, like, I think, getting better. You know? Like, like that's good. That's, you know, there's always going to be something you can do. I, I genuinely believe. Like, no matter what your situation is, so... Gross.
Well, that's good at least. Well, at least this guy's kind of nice. I mean, true, it's a little bit underplaying it. Mm. He's been through a lot. That's nice. He gets my approval. あるねずにも俺を言っておきなさい。私に知らせようと畑の中を通り回しておいてやろうだ。二人とも今日はお休みなさい。旦那様には私から言っておく。それと私の古着で少し大きいだろうが、取る日にこれをやろう。<笑><
何人くらいだ10人くらいか More than that. I don't think he can count. It makes sense that Thorfinn doesn't really want to talk about it. But it might help him to talk. Then again, if he talks about it, he's probably going to like mentally break down a little bit. So that would be very vulnerable. Yep. Five or six, okay. That's so young. If it's five, your personality's still forming, so it, it makes sense. And that's when you should have learned all those things, like, thank you. Yeah, Inar might have to grapple with this a little bit. <laughs> it's a lot of bugs in this episode. Be a lot to process, I think, for Einar and Thorfinn, but not really that. Oh, they. Uh oh. I wonder if they're the exact same age or not. I mean, he's not the one who did it to them. I mean, definitely did it to someone else's family. Thorfinn probably already knows he's there. He's just like, whatever. Oh. I get the tennis like he's obviously really mad, but that's why you wanna talk about your feelings. Oof. Oh, he's having his his nightmare. He already feels obviously very guilty for like I he feels like he doesn't deserve to be around, basically. The imagery of this is really good with the, the trees and the cricket and That would not be a pleasant dream. Anyway, because my camera battery died off it and I'm still working on the background of the channel. So we'll continue the reaction recording.
This is a weird place to, so just for context, it's been like a few days <laughs> since I was reacting. And um, it's a weird context to, to come back to um, this scene. It's like, whoa. <laughs> Thorfinn, like Well, if you want to know what um, PTSD dreams are like, I'd say that's pretty accurate <laughs> Oh man I wonder if he's gonna notice it all Like I think Einar's realizing in this moment, I can't make him feel any guiltier than he already feels himself, you know? <laughs> Awkward. But like, I see what he's saying, but at the same time, he's stopped. He's clearly like non-violent, confrontational now. He feels guilty, like that's a huge, I think Thorfinn doesn't realize that that's a huge difference. Like he's not the person he was. And even back then, he was a kid. It's not like he really understood what was going on, you know, just interesting. I see why he, I see why he feels that way for sure, but I think what he's not realizing is, first of all, that's not totally true, obviously. Second of all, even if it was true, it doesn't mean that it's going to, sorry, my camera's having a hard time focusing. Hello. Okay. Even Second of all, even if it was true, it doesn't mean that it's going to continue that way. So that's the interesting to, thing to me about depression is it's basically like your brain is tricking you into thinking, oh, there's no hope. It's always going to be this way. And I think, again, not a psychologist. <laughs> Take everything I say with a grain of salt. But um, I think a big part of working through depression is um, 
finding that hope and realizing like even if tons of bad things has, have happened it doesn't mean it's going to continue and also I think like taking back control like what can I control in my life like I think Thorfinn probably feels like oh I've had no control for so long like you know his dad died in front of him and then Askeladd died in front of him and he had no control over both situations but and even though that's true that doesn't mean he has no control over his life over anything in his life you know like he's he feels like that so he's making it so but he doesn't have to do you know what I mean I hope that helps someone who may be dealing with the same um, things as him, but. It's a good point. Like his dad saved him. Probably took him a minute to realize that. <laughs> They're so cute. I love it. I'm sure they wouldn't appreciate that, but... I feel like my heart's melting into a thousand pieces. This music's kind of pretty, in like a church choir kind of way. Hmm. I don't know who this is supposed to be. Oh, yes I do. Well, I can't say I have too much to say about the episode because, again, watched most of it a couple days ago, and then I just finished it now. Um, but I would just say that I really like Anar and Thorfinn's friendship, but I know it sounds weird because, like, obviously, um, the scene was a bit intense with Anar, but but the end of the scene was so cool where he's like talking him through. <laughs> Um, you know, stuff and helping him find hope and 
you know, helping him realize it's not all pointless. Um, so, yeah, I think that's a really cool part of the episode. Oh, uh, what did you guys think? Thund Thunder has opinions. Um, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you for the next one.